Hi, welcome to ARKNet Small Guru. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the simulation of an engine which comes up with uh, Autodesk Inventor as an example assembly in uh, in motion, which is a motion simulation add-in for Autodesk Inventor. Okay, this is the pretty much default uh, engine assembly which 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 ships up which ships along with Inventor. Okay, I have just added a constraint okay between uh, I guess it's yeah this was the constraint I added made six so we have kinematically constrained uh, the IC engine as you can see when you rotate the crank the piston goes up and down okay this is pretty much what you have in inventor I go to in motion by click, uh, clicking on applications and then in motion so we get our uh, corresponding uh, browser out here so we have uh, got bore out there which is grounded we have all the movable uh, occurrences or parts you can say uh, since piston 1 is sub assembly and uh, it has uh, 6 to 7 parts inside it so we have we are just considering the sub assembly and not going inside the details probably we'll let the user decide whether he wants the details probably by right clicking on it and selecting show details or show parts or parts we are yet to go to that level and we have constraints uh, again we are not considering the internal constraints that are there with the okay let's uh, hide this bore for simplicity I click on visibility so that's gone okay this is the piston and it has say oil ring and uh, rest pin retainers everything so we are not uh, dealing with the constraints which are internal to this piston sub assembly again we will let the user decide what he wants and uh, yeah let me go to mate 1 which is uh, the rotation of the crank I right click on it and say rotate it by 720 degrees I say ok then I right click on simulation and go to enable simulator so I get my playback deck I click on start simulation so what it does is it takes all the components to our solver and again gets back the uh, data from it and it starts the simulation out here since this is a bigger assembly it would probably take uh, more time so as you can see it has started the simulation but it is uh, very slow also because I am uh, recording this uh, screencast uh, and uh, since it's a relatively large assembly it's taking some time for the processing of it probably we'll have to wait till it's done so in motion also has uh, dynamic capabilities so basically we are working on uh, getting force die force uh, velocity acceleration data say if you want force to be calculated at particular uh, position or particular constraint so we can get a graph of the force data and also acceleration data or velocity data for any component or at any point so we're still working on it and uh, also gravity has its effect on the assemblies I'm going to show that in the next uh, screencast so this is pretty much uh, what we have done till now yeah that's the completion of the assembly and uh, I can again play back and the playback will also take uh, probably same amount of time because of the large number of uh, parts it does have so 
yeah that's it for now thanks for watching